You guys ready to march? Yeah. Okay, now listen, when the children of Israel marched around, on the seventh time, they, there was a, a, a horn that was blown. And that horn represented victory. And they shouted before the walls came down. We're going to practice. You guys ready? When I count to three, I want you to let out a victory, joy, shout that the walls of division are coming down. Are you ready? One, two, three.
hundreds of us gathering on this university campus 79 years later is to say anti-Semitism will be defeated. Seventh, the sovereign borders of Israel were invaded by Hamas. Over a hundred hostages still remain and, and probably over 30 of them have been murdered at this point. We don't know how many are left. And as this, they started the war and Israel's continuing it, we're watching, we're watching as, as protests are happening on campuses across America that are violent and destructive. And here we gather as Christians and Jews in peace calling for peace and we're, we're we're realizing that what we're here today to do is to stand with israel all of us together and we do and so i'm going to pray and ask for the unity in the body of of christ lord please i pray as we have been divided over really just tertiary issues in a season where the, the freedom of religion is under attack god this is an attack on the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion 
and, and the body of Christ must stand together. And I'm here with my brother Sean, the two of us together, we, we have wonderful discussions about our differences, and yet we're unified knowing that the two of us are covered by the blood of Christ. And so together we stand with Israel. I ask, Lord, that you would bring a unifying spirit upon the body of Christ across America, that we would stand for truth, we would stand for peace, and we would stand together in Christ. In Jesus' matchless mighty name we pray. Amen. We really believe it's never been more important for Christians and Jews to stand together in defense of Israel's right to peacefully exist. In Genesis 12, God promises Abraham, to your offspring I will give this land. In Genesis 15, God reiterates this unconditional promise, to your descendants I have given this land. From the river of Egypt as far as the great river, the river of Euphrates. In Genesis 17, God again repeats this promise to Abraham. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give you as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you. As far as scripture is concerned, there is no such thing as a two-state solution. The nation of Israel belongs to Israel. Because when God makes a promise, He intends to keep it. And Jerusalem will remain the eternal and undivided capital of the nation of Israel. Ask yourself this question, why? Why are there widespread celebrations in nations like Turkey, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Lebanon, Afghanistan, and others? as the news of these terrorist attacks spread. Why are these Muslim majority nations absolutely committed to the genocidal idea of wiping Israel off the map? Is it because their land is so valuable? Is it because their resources are so great? Why is this tiny sliver of a nation such a threat to its neighbors? Because Israel serves as a reminder that a covenant keeping God has preserved his people and every lesser God is operating on borrowed time and on borrowed land. Why must Christians and Jews stand together? Because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the one who is faithful to a thousand generations. Why must Christians and Jews stand together? Because if we will bless Israel, God will bless us. Why must Christians and Jews stand together? Because we are the last line of defense against satanic ideologies that seek to gain a foothold in this region. And like Mordecai said to Esther, don't think for a moment that because you're in the palace, you will escape. And maybe, just maybe, you were born for such a time as this. Why must Christians and Jews stand together? Because, if, because we have a common enemy, but more importantly, we have a common God. Amen. So we are asking this God today, arise and defend your people. And may the nation know that our God still answers by fire. May God arise and may his enemies be scattered. If God is close to the broken and the contrite, then we can say with confidence tonight that God is close to our Jewish friends. So let us stand on the side of the God who split the sea. Cause manna to fall from the sky. Cause fire to fall from heaven. Cause the heart of Cyrus to be turned. Let us declare, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one, and He will defend His people. Until every hostage comes home. Until Israel's borders are secure. Until Hamas and Hezbollah and their supporters are vanquished. The church will stand with its Jewish neighbors. So in closing, I say, from the river to the sea, Israel will be saved, Israel will be defended, and Israel will be free. We are taking a stand tonight against this demonic, anti-Semitic spirit. We're showing America that there are more that stand with Israel than stand against it. Amen? Can y'all just wave at me? You awake out there. All right. So, hear the ground rules tonight. We don't destroy, we don't bring violence, and we don't bring hate. We bring joy and unity and hope and prayer. We're a worshiping, happy people. Amen?
You know why? Because we're on God's side. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is an amazing moment right here. We have Jews and Christians standing together in unity. This is a moment when things never happened before like this. The end of the story, God wins. The end of the story, there are Jews everywhere at the end of the story. And we are going to unite, we're going to stand together because this is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice. And we're going to be happy. We're going to be happy warriors standing shoulder to shoulder. Because that's what we do as Christians. And that's what we do as Jews. USA! 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 Just by the fact that you have chosen to stand with Israel and be one with our believers in Yeshua, but also our believers, the people who are part of Israel as a nation, I really believe that that's where God's going to command the blessing on your life, and I want to pray that blessing over you for just being here as a prophetic act. So, Father, how good and how pleasant it is when we do gather together in unity. And Lord, this is the prayer that you pray, that we would be one, that the world might believe that you sent your Son. And Lord, you've broken down the dividing wall, and you made us one new man in Yeshua. And we pray that this gathering would be catalytic in bringing a great harvest of Muslims sent to your kingdom. Hi, everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Logan and I am a Jewish student here at USC. And I'm here to testify that Jewish students have been facing discrimination, hate, on our college campus for the last six months. But today we stand here strong and united as Jews and Christians. We stand for the same values. We stand for freedom. We stand for democracy. We stand for America and we stand for Israel. So together with our unity, Am Yisrael Chai. I serve the Lord. I came 30 years ago as a refugee with my wife and three kids in this country. America did great for me. My son is proud Marine and my kids, they get education. But since Muslims, they killed my brother, he was a pastor in Iran. Rather than hating them, I preached the gospel to Muslims, baptized 1,300 Muslims in America, and my church is full of Muslim convert Iranians. I want to tell you, we hate any hate spirit. And we are praying for Muslim country that they come to Jesus and Jewish and Iranian and all nations come together to worship the Lord. And when you hear about BDS and divestment and leaving companies that support Israel and American interests, you need to do the exact opposite and leave those companies that don't support your interests. Patriot Mobile, there are many others, Public Square, you can find them. But you know what? You need to vote with your dollar. As important as it is to, you know, social media helps. Prayer above everything helps. But your dollar means the most in this physical world to these corporations and all these people standing on the streets. Make sure that you're voting with your dollar and you're putting it in the right place.